Okay, so we're at base camp today. We're at Let's Golf in Hawley. We're in the high definition simulator. I've actually got my FSX program, Foresight FSX program running in the background. So today's tip is going to be about the finish position. So Back to Basics has talked us through the entire journey from the club itself and describing it in layman's terms, the basic backswing, the positions that you should try to look for, the, down, the start of the downswing and the positions through the downswing and impact. So today's tip is the follow through and the position you should try to look for in the follow through, which will give you a good indication you've made a good strike on the golf ball. Okay, so we're into the follow through now then in the back to basics. So what are we trying to achieve? Well, we want to get the hand all over the left shoulder. We want to get the club shaft pointing down the back. So my body is turning around to the left of the target. So my body is rotating almost on the spot that I started. It might be a little bit left of this where I started, but my body is definitely rotating around to the left to allow me to swing around to the left and into that finish position. So, as I swing through impact, the club shaft is going to move, the handle is gonna move and the club shaft around to the left. The club shaft will then be put back on some kind of plane there, very similar as the wrist start to recock that very similar to the downswing plane that we worked on in the earlier Back to Basics video. So, shaft is resetting, hands and handle are moving over the left shoulder, the shaft down my back. So my body has continued to turn left of my target. So you can see my belt buckle, which represents my pelvis, is pointing left of the camera, my chest is pointing left of the camera. So there's the finished position, made nice and simple for you. Happy golfing.